guys, I'm Jeep and Jason, and today we are officially in the dirt with the Jeep after this huge swing of changes and upgrades to it. Look, there's even mud in the tires. Look at that. Oh, that might be cow poop. Nope, it's mud, thank goodness. Uh, here we are in Hungry Valley Off-Road Park, and this is where I love to come with the Jeep to get my bearings and just to do the testing and just to feel everything out. It's close enough to my house, and it's just something I know. There's some things that I can do that I've done before and I can have that comparison. Here's the specs on what we're running right now. These are the BFG KM3s. These are the 37 by 13.5. I have them at 10 right now. So we're gonna start at 10 PSI. I have the lock and load suspension unlocked right now. So just loosened up. But the big ticket item that I'm really out here trying to get a feeling for is the Fusion Semi-Float Dana 60 rear axle. Even though this thing bolted in the exact same way as the stock axle, the Jeep just handles way better, way more stable. And I'm hoping that my increased confidence in the beefy components of this thing will translate into the way I can drive the trail. So we'll put it in four low and we'll hit some stuff. I say actually we try to climb this little, the stair stepper here just to flex it out all the way and just check for clearance. And we'll just start with the easy stuff and work our way into, I think I want to hit that sluice again. I had such a good time on that. So let's get busy. Let me bring you in up to the front and show you how much room we have up here. Now, when we first flexed it, flexed it out on the CTI trailer, we actually had this steering arm connecting the frame here. And as you can see, the bump stops are just touching. I could literally take that one out. I knew I could, but I didn't want to just uh, guess beforehand. And this is why you test this bump stop. It's coming out. Look how much room we have here, because this is the limiting factor in my setup here. Way more room for bump, but otherwise, Everything is looking phenomenal. Holy mackerel. It's nice to see the tire flexed out and on the top of that. All right, let's go climb some stuff and see if we got all the drivetrain components in order. Next up is this super easy hill climb. Now we'll do a four low first gear creep up this thing, no lockers. Let's just feel what this thing, it shouldn't actually need them up this. So right now, all I'm gonna do is just listen for drivetrain stuff, because now we're gonna actually put this thing under load. There we go. Gosh, this feels so darn good just to be out here putting this thing to work. It's been too long. Oh, so far. Just let it do its thing. I'm gonna actually just let it load up a little bit where sometimes you would carry a little momentum. I want it to actually do exactly that. I wanna feel what happens when one tire forces weight to another tire. And again, no weird sounds. It's doing its job. I'm having a really good time. <laughs> I hope you guys like these little videos because boy, this is fun. This is just the precursor of just the whole new phase of this Jeep. So there you go. So that was what you exactly expect. I say now let's twist up the frame. So there's another climb right next to it. And this is kind of the same way I've done it before. And I really like this methodical approach. So now we'll twist it up. For this little exercise, we'll do four low second gear. And we'll just see if we can just maintain. We have no lockers on right now because I really just want to let it articulate, wait for the wheel spin, listen for some rubbing, which I kind of expected there, but nothing yet. Okay, heard a little spring action back there. We'll have to give that a look, but otherwise that went oddly well. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, let's go give a look and see what we got. Her, her one little spring clank in the back, but uh, wow, no lockers up that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happily impressed with where we're going right now, <laughs> with where we're at, I should say. 
All right, so let's uh, check things out underneath here. Now what you want to do is just, everything looks good. Check to make sure that your springs are still seated up in their pockets. Everything is, everything looks good. You want to make sure that, that that didn't jump out of the way. This is the one that I wrestled with when I did the install to just make sure that it got full droop because uh, I did the, the shock modification here because the six packs mount way above the factory uh, shock mount. So it gives me way more droop. Everything looks good. Everything's tight. Brake lines, sway bars, everything's good. Let's keep going. All right, the sluice box is up next and this will be definitely the most technical challenge that we do today. So let's uh, send it on through. The thing I'm curious about the sluice box is how these new tires and how the gearing feels back on 37s since I'm still on 488 gears. And I can just tell already it, it crawls much, much better. I mean, it wasn't bad before, but in the old footage, you could hear the thing lugging over stuff. And right now, I don't have to really feather the clutch at all. I'm just letting it do its thing. Lockers are off right now. Just kind of want to let it work its way through here and see before we add lockers to this. But what I can say, see right now I'm just letting it idle and it's just doing its, doing its job really quite well. All right, having the PSC steering is next level. This is uh, definitely a different experience than before. All right, so now, do we just put the tire up there? I think I went out before now. All right, there's the rocker. Woo, all right, tippy. Definitely feels happier with this tire size and this gearing. I mean, I'm just literally letting it do its thing through here. It's, uh, night, it, it's not night and day difference, but it's definitely different and feels happier. All right. Now for this little tricky part at the end here. What do you say, do we send it through that? Let me set another camera up. I say we send it, we send it through all the way, all the way to the end of the sluice. Let's try. So I think we'll just kind of split the gap there. This could be a little tight. That That's gonna be a little tight right there, but we'll try it. We didn't make it this far without trying to send it through the rest. Let's do it. This is where the steering all right without the the PSC steering this would be impossible for me right now all right breathe all right <laughs> well, that ended up not as bad as, oh, <laughs> there you go. There's the rocks teaching me a lesson. <laughs> Couple things to think about that I'm just kind of chewing on right after that. <clears throat> I definitely need a ton of practice. This is exactly my problem is I just, 
I do a bunch of stuff to the Jeep and then it goes months before I get in the dirt and keep those skills fresh. Um, wow, the peace of mind in the drivetrain, like having that axle, both front and rear axles are just, I didn't worry about that. I worried about tires, tires did great. So, you know, a lot of the components are feeling really quite good. And now it's just me learning how to just kind of reacquaint, figure out the capabilities. The Jeep is now more capable than it's ever been. So the, the steering is something that being able to turn the wheel with that much ease inside that confined space there at the end when I ran out of talent was really amazing. So now, I mean, I was watching the wheel t like push rocks out of the way. You want to be careful with that. Like, I definitely feel like I added a ton of strength. I got the reed knuckles, the fusion axle. Um, so I have a lot of strength up there, but you've got to be careful. Like my steering mount on my tie rod isn't the heavy duty, the double shear one. So you got to drive what you have. And I was probably pushing that to its limit, but learning now again, what the Jeep can do is really fun. It did way better than I thought. It, it just found a ton of traction. I'm loving the BFGs. I definitely am looking forward to seeing the video and check out the sidewall deflection. I had a couple people uh, make some comments on that install video that a, a low E tire on a Jeep is too heavy duty or too, the sidewalls won't flex. Well, I'm pretty sure that the sidewalls flex pretty darn good right there. And then also had a little bit more security because I was just drove ugly through there, but it went, just squished its way, slithered its way right through there. That was amazing. All right, let's just head through some more rocks, do a little bit of practice. I mean, that's what we came out here to do. So we'll just kind of climb through here for low first, again, with the just creepy crawly stuff. Just feel it out, see what it does. Oh gosh, this is fun. And again, going back to the gearing, just nice to have my foot planted on the floor, not feathering the clutch and just, you can hear it just digging its way through there. That seemed pretty effortless as well. Man, this is good, really good. Definitely like that I'm back down on 37s with this gearing. It's nice to just not have to feather the clutch and just let it crawl. It's so funny how much more relaxing this can be when you're in a vehicle as the capabilities of the vehicle grow. <laughs> it just becomes more relaxing to hit the same stuff that you used to stress out on. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, there you go. Pretty happy with this thing right now. If you can't tell by this grin, my face hurts from smiling. Oh, so good. I'd say today's test went pretty damn good. Now this will be my first time actually airing up with my new four tire system in the wild. So this is gonna be a really cool test of this. These little rubber caps are from Power Tank. I love them, see how fast that is? And then you just put this on, that's it. And we just turn the compressor on. So I gotta take the tools and get down in here and I'm gonna go ahead and lock the lock and load back up. All right, there it is, 32. Well, all systems seem to have checked out amazingly well. I'm actually loving the air up system here. 
being able to do the suspension air up at the same time. And now I'm just done and ready to hit the road. I got some uh, enchiladas waiting for me at this amazing place up there in Gorman. I feel pretty good about this thing right now. It's time to just get some seat time, some experience, and let's just go and see the world and get out into the countryside. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this little adventure. And until next time, enjoy your drive. Whew. All right.